what's up internet? So I'm filming this in the time of NCOV or COVID-19 and one of the industries most affected by the virus is the airline industry. So this is just the story of how I got a refund from Cathay Pacific hassle-free or stress-free. So the story begins on January 21, I booked a flight from New York to Manila passing through Hong Kong which would leave on February 10. And so around this time, late January, early February, those were the first signs that maybe the virus was exiting China at a rapid pace and you know Japan was getting infected and South Korea was also hit Singapore. And so, you know, the situation was still very much up in the air. So around one week before my flight, Feb 3, it was getting a bit dicey. The Philippine government issued a notice saying that if you pass through Hong Kong, we might not let you in and we might stick you in one of our quarantine centers. So I canceled my flight with Cathay Pacific and booked a direct flight from New York to Manila via using Philippine Airlines. And so the cancellation process with Cathay was straightforward. You log on to their site, you manage your booking, you click the link, manage your booking. There's an option there to cancel. And I did request for a refund through that initial cancellation process. But immediately on February 3, when I canceled, immediately after the cancellation, I got an email saying that, you know, something went wrong with your refund request and we need you to submit it again. Here's a link. So I thought, um, well, okay, so, you know, what are you going to do? So I clicked the link and I submitted the necessary information. And after that, after February 3, I had no more contact with Cathay. I did not email them. I did not call them. I did not try to visit their office when I got to Manila. So no communications at all from me, no follow-ups to Cathay Pacific. On February 12, I did get an email from Cathay saying that, yes, you know, we know you asked for a refund, but you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, so it might take a few more weeks to process. On February 14, the refund had arrived and it was only a partial refund, but it was for around 90% of the price that I paid. So again, overall, not bad at all without any, without having to hassle anyone for a refund. I didn't send any follow-up emails, calls, etc. So yes, I did not get a full refund, but considering the state of the airline industry, Cathay Pacific in particular, considering the state of the world economy in general, I'm quite happy with the 90% refund, especially because it was hassle-free. You know, you, you're you running around worried about where what food to buy and what medicines you need and when your city will go into lockdown. So it was really, I think, very generous on the part of Cathay Pacific to give such a refund and without having to hassle their customers. And some of you might be wondering, perhaps I'm a frequent flyer with Cathay, you know, maybe for some reason they know me or, you know, whatever status in the frequent flyer miles program. Actually, I very rarely take Cathay Pacific the last time I took one of their flights was in February 2015, so five years ago. And I'm definitely, you know, not a frequent flyer with them. I, I do have, I, I'm a member of their program, but that's just to accumulate miles. I don't have any special customer category with them. And again, so basically I'm a nobody to them, but they were kind enough to give me a 90% refund. And Really, thank you again, Cathay Pacific. I thought that was really great customer service. Definitely no travel for now. Stay home, stay safe. 